All right, welcome back. Mieti Allah opens up on threats by Fulani Jihadist group to bomb Delta. All right, the news in details. Otman Ngezama, the National Secretary of the Mieti Halakato Breeders Association of Nigeria, Magban, has distanced the organization from threats made by a Fulani group to attack various areas in Delta State. He also termed the threat as an attempt by the anonymous group to tarnish the image of Fulani men in southern Nigeria. In response to the warning, the militant group movement for the emancipation and defense of the Niger Delta men said it would retaliate by launching three rocket launchers and then ballistic missiles at any location in the north. The Fulani group had vowed to infiltrate and bomb Asaba, the state capital, and then Agbo, the headquarters of the state's Ika South local government area. Governor Okowa was given 72 hours to express his opinion and support for the open grazing prohibition. Governors of states in the country's southern region convened in Asaba in May 2021 to discuss the country's growing insecurity epidemic and they resolved to prohibit open grazing. However, in a Channel's TV interview, Angel Zama stated that the group's threats should not be taken seriously and that it was made by mischief makers. Ngal Zama claimed that the gang is threatening pastoralists and the Fulani people in order to smear their image. All right, and meanwhile, he did clarify, though, that the resolution against open grazing is aimed at the Fulani who live in the country's south. Such statements that come from faceless unknown groups shouldn't be given any serious consideration. I believe this statement must be coming from mischief makers, people who are out to tarnish the image of the Fulanis and the pastoralist, pastoralists. It is because of such negative profiling by the media that makes us believe that the anti-open grazing laws being intended to be promulgated by the southern states are not laws stopping open grazing but i believe these laws are laws against fulanis living in the southern part of the country the northern governors must be up and doing and they must also begin to open discussions with their southern counterparts for them to put their heads together and come up with a solution that can work for both the North and the South, he said. Respecting the fundamental human rights of the pastoralists as citizens, their right to movement, their right to pray, their right to trade, their right to liberty. All right, and then this had been said. Okay, onto this one, it has been said that Miyeti Allah opens up on threats by Fulani jihadist group to bomb Delta State. All right, my people. Well, a majority of things had happened in this country. And as we speak, war is looming. And then meanwhile, you know, this set of people have come out to say, oh, you people should not listen to them. Oh, don't answer them. This faceless fool and a group that are you know, patrolling, that are saying they want to bomb Delta State simply because Governor Okowa was the one who hosted them in Asaba when the 17 Southern governors came together to say there is going to be they are they have put a ban on open grazing and this set of you no know, faceless fulani men came and they have said that okay they are going to bomb delta state asaba even agbo if the governor of delta state does not reverse a statement hmm, meaning they are going to cause trouble hmm. and the meanwhile the delta states now have now you no know, given their own term onto this that if you people try it 
we too we are going to scatter the whole of not hmm, my brother this one are war they won't bring out okay and meanwhile according to the Mieti hala group right now they have come out to say hmm don't listen to this fuller and faceless people this set of people are just trying to tarnish the image of the fuller wherever they are this is not something that we already planned we didn't plan this so we don't know anything about it hmm, my brother my sister a lot of things are happening so what can we do what are we going to do today so because now the delta state government has said that hmm, we our own retaliation go madden because we go bomb the whole of north be that too hmm, my brother my sister hmm, this one is getting serious by the day meanwhile a lot of people have actually reacted onto this one all right according to sylvester igwe he has said that, well have they been faithful before hmm, because they call them faceless okay are they been faithful before please Okawa, my brother, tightened security in Delta State to put all Fulani under watch and then arrest Mieti if anything happens. Okay. And then, meanwhile, according to Emmanuel, Emmanuel said that, well, you can see how these people are protecting their people. Can governor from East do that? Hmm, that's another serious one. You see, when me were only say, make a Chia Dofu, I said, I see Mieti Allah. Talking peaceful wonders shall never end. Oh, all right. Hmm. Well, according to Joseph Abiodi, I said, well, it is good for the Mieti Hala cattle breeders to deny the allegations and they distance themselves to the threats they have made and then advise their branches throughout the Nigeria to keep off from southern state of Nigeria. Well, kudos to the MEND men for giant and bold step taken to defend their territory from this fullness. Hmm, that is serious. Well, hmm, according to Elder Unwango Prince, so you see, hmm, this is absolute nonsense. Uh, all right, and then Silver Kerike has said that Mieti Allah have succeeded in creating and dragging enmity to Fulani people. You killed hundreds of people in Benue and they boasted to kill more and you had continued killing and nothing happened to you. Your words cannot be taken for granted. Benue can take it but Southeast and South South can't take it. Hmm. No matter the intimidation from the federal securities, you will not succeed in this area. Hmm. This one has been said by Silva. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. According to Joseph Abiodun, he said, well, their threat is an eye opener to the Southerners, which we should not overlook either. The country Nigeria broke up or not. All Southerners can now differentiate and separate good from the bad elements in the country. Well, according to Timothy Sobayo, I said, well, and the Buhari is hearing this, keep quiet, but he had forgotten what happened to Abacha. Hmm, that's another serious one. Well, meanwhile, Terry Jordan, I said, well, now what you see, the South have woke up, you denied it, what about Samuel Autumn? All right, and then meanwhile, a base again, Thomas. I said that Fulanis have fundamental right to kidnap, to destroy farms, and to kill in the south, but so southerners don't have fundamental right to sell BS in north. Just give us a trial. Men will liberate Kano and the Kaduna has warning signal to the north. Well, Adamo Sani has said that, do you know that Southerners owns 40% of businesses in the north? Okay, Josh Eddy has said that, well, the north-south should not relax. Okay, okay, they said the south-south, so to say, should not relax. The evil cattle sellers would still deny even with detonation of the bombs and killings. We don't know when eating cow meat has been made compulsory or mandate by doctors as acute for any ailment. Hmm, that's another serious one. Well, Chigose Chidema onto this one. I said, well, let those idiots that sent the letter be arrested. Hmm, you people should stop saying that they are faceless. Hmm, these people forget it till we know what is going on in the country. All right, my people, majority of things have been said so far. Hmm, well, this is another serious one. Now that the Niger Delta militant has now said that, well, we are going to to retaliate with you just any small sign say now your bomb one corner we just see one smoke for one bush part last some we are coming down to the north every part of north we go bring them down 
<laughs> my people this is not funny at all all right and what more can we say unto this meanwhile let me have more take from you on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless